Hello everyone, welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray, and boy do we have a great lesson today. In fact, many call it the theme of the book of Jonah, Uh, but before we begin, let's just have a short word of prayer together. Heavenly Father, I thank you that your word is such a lamp unto our feet, it's a light unto our path, and it will lead us to what you want us to do and the way that you want us to be in this life. And Lord, I'm just so grateful that we have your son Jesus as our Savior and we can learn from your word. Teach us by your Holy Spirit, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Today's lesson is called Observing Lying Vanities. And it's taken from Jonah chapter 2 and verse 8. As Jonah continued his prayer and description of what it was like to be inside the belly of the great fish, he finally remembered the Lord, and his prayer came in to God into his holy temple. In chapter 2 and verse 8 of this prophecy, we learn a great principle about observing lying vanities. We read, They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. The verse begins, they that observe lying vanities. The writer began with the words, they that observe, which means those who keep, guard, and give heed to lying or empty, false, nothing and worthless vanities, which means vapor, breath, or emptiness. Jonah concluded that he had given heed to worthless and empty thoughts as he imagined that he could flee from the presence of God. The verse continues, forsake their own mercy. The writer added, forsake, which means leave, depart from, loose, let alone, neglect, and apostatize their own mercies, which means goodness, kindness, and faithfulness. Jonah discovered the principle that anyone who observes empty, godless ideas actually hurt their own opportunities for kindness and goodness from God. When we consider the words in this verse, we understand this is one of the most important principles found in the scriptures. When a person flees from the will of God, he or she actually hurt themselves by forsaking the mercy the Lord would extend to them. The Lord wasn't hurt by Jonah's fleeing, but Jonah suffered because of it. Jesus' desire for every person is to follow after him, and yet so many do not. This only leads to their own destruction and eventually their eternal separation from him. If we are resisting the Lord's will for our lives, let us not observe lying vanities so we may experience the full mercy of God that is provided through Jesus Christ, his son. Next time we see Jonah uh, talk about those that have forsaken their own mercy by observing lying vanities. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious unto you, lift up his countenance upon you, and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name. 